hello everyone so welcome back to the channel and uh, today we will see how we can uh, run our machine learning models or numpy data science how can we run them in our uh, google collab for free we can do this on our own machines uh, but uh, for the simplicity and the ease with which and everyone can access it anywhere so because of all these reasons we can and uh, for most parts i think we should use google collab so let's go to our google drive let's make a folder here let's say collabs okay open that folder and uh, once you're inside here click on more and you can see you just right click anywhere and you will see all these options and from these options uh, when you go to more you will see that we already have some applications installed on our google grab uh, on our google drive so click on connect more apps uh, wait for it to load and when it's loaded search for collab click on the collaboratory and uh, here's your google collab once you click on it and click install it will ask for your permissions and uh, just grant the permissions to google collab and let it finish its job it says was connected to google drive okay and then click okay and uh, wait for everything to finish once we're done here just close this model and now when you click more you will see this google collab uh, option here and when you click on it it will create a new file and will take you to this new tab where you can access your google collab okay so this file here is called a notebook a python notebook as you can see the extension is ipynb okay so this is called a notebook and uh, we can do all kinds of data science stuff for example if you have a model machine learning model that you want to train a deep learning model that you are in training or you have let's say a PySpark file that you want to run a data analysis task you can also do that here so this is mm, the place where you can uh, freely and easily carry out your data science tasks and projects here we have some options to connect uh, connect to hosted runtime and the cool thing about this is you get you know free gpu if you need a gpu for heavier tasks and tpu as well and you can easily select any one of them and click on save and then you will have a session in which you have access to gpu but right now we don't need it i'm just showing you so let's click on connect and uh, yeah the other cool thing about google collab is that pretty much all the different data science libraries like tensorflow numpy pandas pytorch all these you know amazing popular libraries they come pre-installed into google collab you won't have to install anything so this is pretty much saving you space memory and everything on your machine power you just get all that for free on google collab so why not just use this right so let's rename this file that's our first notebook and uh, save it you can press ctrl s and this will save in your here you can see we have this beautiful collab and this is a python notebook you can write any kind of uh, valid python let's print the our favorite code and uh, to run a piece of code you can just you know enter control enter this will just run this is the output of uh, the code snippet that we have and uh, the other part is uh, you can press alt enter and it will create a new cell these these things in which we can write are called cells okay so we have two type of cells uh, we have a code cell 
and uh, we have a text cell if you add a text cell this is something you know where you can add your instructions or explanations for the code that is coming or you know anything you can write here for example this is the first headline okay and uh, this will be a bold text this is a preview of the text and uh, here we have the code for uh, this output and we can make it a heading or a smaller heading a, a little bit smaller as well and the one hash says this is you know level one heading two hashes say this is level two heading uh, and uh, we can these double stars as you might have figured by now they mean a bold text okay so this is level one heading if you want it to be italicized anything this is what's called a visibic what you see is what you get text editor so yeah once you press control enter right here or escape uh, it will take you out of this Mm, you can go back into editing mode by just double clicking it and and yeah that is it i think for now but uh yeah you can also delete this cell by control md or just pressing this and you can see this gives you these options by pressing this you can send this cell up or down you know you can just move these cells any way you like uh you can collapse them like this as you can see uh, the collab google collab associates this cell the code cell with this heading because we have you know sent it but once we send it uh, below this code cell you won't see the collapsible option so these are the few options uh, we get and uh, yeah the next thing we probably should see is how we can access our uh, numpy because the next video coming up will be everything about numpy we will be looking into uh, arrays in numpy indexing array indexing and operation and some practice problems to get our hands dirty with numpy once that is complete, we will move on to pandas and a lot of stuff is coming up. So be sure to subscribe and uh, like the videos to keep us going. Uh, yeah, I was talking about NumPy. Let's say we want to import NumPy is NP. As you can see, it is pre-installed and it suggests us that we want NumPy. If you want just press enter see and you run the cell it gives you no warnings no errors that means numpy is already installed so that's it for this video and uh, let's see you in the next one uh, take care and keep learning thanks a lot